Crime, jobs, downtown development, those were just a few of the topics Mayor Lenny Curry addressed as he spoke to a crowd of young professionals at the Jacks Chamber. Each year he hosts this event speaking to Impact Jacks. News for Jacks reporter Elizabeth Campbell is joining us live with uh, the crowd's biggest concerns and how the mayor addressed them. Elizabeth. Well, one of those questions from the crowd was what is going to happen with the Jacksonville Landing, which is across the river, as you can see behind me. After several acts of violence there, including the mass shooting in August, Mayor Curry says pending current litigation, he hopes the city can soon take over. He also talked about his hopes for the downtown area in general. Five years and, and touching on this millennial desire to work, live, play, you know, in a concentrated area. Experiences and questions from young adults who listened to Mayor Lenny Curry speak tonight. Let's talk about some of the issues of crime. Crime was a big topic of conversation. Mayor Curry saying there's a gang problem in Jacksonville. Much of the violence that we see is gang on gang. And so that's why we've invested in technologies, why we're adding police officers. Uh, you got to get, you got to disrupt these guys. He also referenced this month's bust of dozens of Jacksonville gang members and said those operations will continue. What is our outreach truly? Young professional Alex Jenkins is a Jacksonville native. Jobs, jobs, jobs. Would love to see a big economic uh, boom, you know, the likes of which cities like Austin have experienced before. And I asked the mayor about his downtown vision, saying some Jacksonville residents feel for decades there's been more talk than action. Well, people are now seeing maybe for the first time in many years dollars really appropriated to getting projects done. And where you're looking now over to the east is where the uh, stadium is. And uh, Mayor Curry says that he is working with the Jaguars to hopefully turn Lot J into an entertainment complex, along with commercial and residential space. And then also that direction is the Hartbridge Expressway ramp, which he says they are going to hopefully redo, which will help with the flow of traffic, including with trucks that go to and from the port. So he says it will be good for the economy, and he is hoping and expecting that. Hartbridge Expressway project to start next summer. Reporting live this evening, Elizabeth Campbell, Channel 4, the local station.